I managed to break my stone rose quartz roller. I'm actually sad. I've like it's not the handle. This is rock. I don't. I just. I don't know. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. I managed it. Uh, anyway, uh, that was sad news because sadness. Uh, <laughs> good news. The staircase is in. Yay! Yes, it's as terrifying as it looks, but it is actually like it's pretty solid and uh, it is walkable as I manoeuvre down here slowly. Jesus. The problem, <laughs> and there is, there's just one like, massive, massive problem with it, is uh, the, these lovely little wires here, <laughs> they actually cut right across the step and that's the uh, the switches at the at the bottom. So, I mean, I mean, there's these wires as well, but like these are at least out of the way for now so we need the electrician to come around and lengthen those wires and get them out of the way and um, basically yeah my uncle couldn't put the uh, banister in because it just it just wouldn't make sense to do so because he'd have to put it over the wires and then the wires would have to be cut and we don't know um if they need to be cut if they can be lengthened elsewhere in the room yeah it's just uh yeah it, it's a bit of a mess that we don't <laughs> we don't need to do um <laughs> what i'm not pleased about he wrote on my wall <laughs> I had words <laughs> he did apologize because he thought it wasn't painted I don't know how to say that but on the other hand it's been damaged anyway so yeah it does need repainting but we're not right right impressed with that <laughs> in other news um, of which there is there is much uh, this bed has been put together they stayed in it I'm just gonna close this door to the copyright music Oh, anyway, yes, my uncle stayed on that. That is hard as rock, so uh, I am not sleeping on that. Uh, no, thank you. Um, yeah, so it'll go upstairs eventually, but I'm not eager for it. <laughs> Just saying. So I have started a migration of sorts into the purple room. I think the idea is I'm eventually I'm going to sleep in there until the remainder of my bedroom is finished. Unless I'm forced out of the purple room for any reason. Which I might be for the electric works, I'm not sure. Uh, other than that, I found my candles. So, I haven't seen these since Bradford. The whole room smells like dog because uh, my uncle's friend. Yeah. She has a dog. Yeah. It's adorable. But, yeah, you know, dog smell. We're a cat house. We need to get the smell out. So, I have a foresty apple campfire thing burning. Which should hopefully get the smell out sooner, if not later. Um, I was going to move a cat tree, actually. I'm just going to have a bit of a play with this because the cats kind of need to get back up. And they're not fond of stairs, as a general rule. But I also can't just put this, you know, in front of the staircase because then obviously it's not suitable for humans. Uh, well, if I do that, it cuts off the top, the top cat basket. Would they care? Mm, my cats might care. Put it there, I suppose. It's a bit wobbly. <sighs> yeah, see, I just like I have to work this out. Okay, there. That works. And then I can get back up the steps. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best it's going to get, I think, for now. Good old kitties. I can also uh, officially say that the heat is finally being retained in this house. This room is finally warm. It's bordering on too warm. But, yay, warmth. Uh, the only other thing we've done is we've gotten prepared for the plaster. Hi, kitty. <laughs> There's just cats everywhere, so... Yeah, we've been uh, preparing for the plasterer to come in tomorrow morning, so he's going to assess this room, which we've had a brief clear out. I've cleaned my unit <laughs> of all the plaster dust. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> my other Uncle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's fine. Um, but I am going to cover those before the plasterer has a go. So I think all we need to do really is just this middle bit just needs clearing out. And then we've kind of got some stuff in here that needs like stacking. Um, but I think he's just doing an assessment tomorrow, so 
it should be fine we've got time and then yeah and all the exciting work starts next week i think Woohoo. <laughs> morning guys okay so i sound like death ignore it um it's only because i've just woken up so uh we had a little bit of an update yesterday with the floor <laughs> uh yeah welcome back to the gym basically uh the guy that's doing the underfloor heating came around yesterday and he just um wanted to check what was basically under this floor because when my uncle put the stairs and he kind of said that there was wood under there um so they were like oh okay you know what processes do we need and everything like that um yeah i i'm guessing there's just wood under that a little bit because there is certainly nothing under that except for more polystyrene you literally couldn't make it up so this this entire floor is polystyrene i like, yeah there is obviously a uh, concrete underneath the polystyrene uh <laughs> okay but they need to take like another that amount out um, so it's not as much of a job as they were thinking it's going to be, but it is still a job. Um, we're also going to be down two solar panels, I think. We went down from ten to eight, or eight to six, I've got no idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I don't know why we're changing that, but we had to change it. Anyway, it's being changed. Um come down for breakfast but I've, I've, I'll have that later right so what we've kind of been doing um this room's had another go with the electrician so I think more of the wires have gone in they had a really good crack at the electric box today um yeah they've pinned everything into the walls now so there's no more like well there is a, there's a few floating wires left but not as many as there were which is really good that's really good um, the work is kind of starting next week, so we're just sort of hovering around at the moment. Um, but it's fine because there's a lot of rooms to clear. Because, <sighs> okay, so I'm going to go into my room at the moment. We've kind of had to, like, clear this room in a way, that, in any way that we can. So all my furniture is now in the middle. I've had to go through every piece of my furniture. Every single one is damaged except for one. So I'm not very happy, but it's something I can't fix. And I kind of had a feeling anyway. So um, we have to basically make every single room look like this. It has to have a complete walkway all the way around it because we're having the guy that's doing the plumbing is coming in exactly the same time as the guys that are doing the underfloor heating. I didn't know that. They're two different people. Oh. <sighs> And the guy that's doing the plumbing says he wants to systematically work his way through every single room. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, but my room's ready. Like, all this piping can come out and be replaced with new ones. You know, piping that doesn't just go in one direction. And that won't cause the uh, radiators to vibrate off the walls. You know, genius that. Genius. Anyway, um... This wasn't supposed to be a video where I can play, but I feel like it's all, that's all the videos are at the moment. So yeah, uh, we've also got a plaster on standby as well. Um, it didn't actually turn up when it was supposed to, but I think that's a good thing to be honest because we really weren't ready. I mean, this room on its own took us all day yesterday, a good chunk of hours to clear out. Um, we've got, actually you can kind of see because in this room, this is where we've kept all the bags. So all those bags, that's like, that's literally just rubble from this room. We've now got to clear out that room and put it into the same state as this one with a, you know, a dust sheet over everything because it's one thing getting plaster dust out of everything. It's quite another getting like, you know, bits of metal and iron and oil from the water and oh no. <laughs> no. It's gonna be an absolute mess. Um and then obviously the new plaster which is gonna go in. <sighs> So yeah, basically it's it's a nightmare waiting to happen. And as soon as we've done with that room, we're then um, doing this one. So this is the room I'm staying in at the moment. Um, it's a lot nicer than it used to be. For one, I found the uh, the blind for the for the window thing. 
I'm just gonna check if there's a cat in here. There is not. So he must have followed me downstairs. Yes. Um, so I've also got to clear this room out as well, and it's there's a lot in here, and it's all my mum's. So I'm just like, I don't really know how to approach it. And we've got to be careful what we clear as well, because there's stuff in here like that's the light for my bedroom. Like that needs the electricians need access to that. Um, I mean, we uncovered the sander yesterday, and I found the rubble bags finally. So it's. It's kind of a case of we're cleaning stuff out, but but we need to remember where certain stuff is. So, I mean, there's a lot of secondhand underlay that's sitting on the bath at the moment. I think a lot of that can go, to be frankly honest. I'd love to just chuck it out the window. Um, I think the wooden planks in here, they can go as well. We don't really need them. But, I mean, are we, well, they could be used, I suppose. Um, to make the tiered garden well to help support the tiered garden in one way or another yeah, it's bits of wood isn't it uh, they could be useful anyway uh yeah so that's kind of that's kind of the update i know it's not really much of one but um yeah we're just we're kind of sitting on it for next week so yeah it's not really much i can show you guys um and there's not too much I can talk about, I don't think. There's no real big plans happening just yet. It was just the, the whole... It was supposed to start this week and kind of stagger its... You know, everything was supposed to stagger into itself. Um, but that's not happened. So it's all it's all starting next week instead. Um, so yeah, it's almost like... It's almost like they said... Um, all the prep work that was going to go into it has just kind of been <laughs> shunted <laughs> onto the actual day that everyone's going to get here. So, you know, um, basically it just means that me and mum have these next few days to literally clear out as much, as many rooms as possible. And then, oh, I don't even know what we're going to do then. Because we've been warned it's going to be like a jackhammer level of noise. So we're trialling a couple of days with it, I think. The first couple of days especially, especially for the cats, because if it's loud for us, it's going to be exceptionally loud for the cats. Um, the guy that's doing it is worried about vibration from the machines. But we also do have a really big garden, and it is getting quite warm now. It's starting to warm up, and we're starting to get some nice weather. If it holds out for next week then hopefully I'll just have to take the cats outside for the day. Um, oh, yes, we were going to get a cat flap for one of the sheds. I actually need to go and encourage my mother to get one of them. Then we need to try and put one in. <laughs> we're going to try and put a cat flap in on our own. Oh, my God. It's going to go so, so terribly wrong. But anyway, it, it kind of needs to happen because they, they need an escape that isn't in the house. Um, we're going to get another electronic one, I think, because um, I like to know where they are. So, and especially Ash, I really need to keep an eye on her because if we give her an outside option, um, other than food, I am really concerned that she will just stay outside all the time. But she always was more of a wild cat than the other two, so not too worried about it. But then again, the uh, the cat flap was on the fritz yesterday. Uh, kept locking them out. So I heard this mowing while I was cleaning the bedroom out. I stuck my head out of the bathroom window and Ash was just sort of sat in the middle of the lawn like mowing away. So Maple and I <laughs> at the bathroom window mowed back as we do when I'm tormenting the cats. Um, <laughs> I didn't realise that the cat flap wasn't working. I didn't realise she was actually asking for something. I literally just thought she was talking to us. <laughs> So I did that for like a full five minutes and then mum came to my room later and she was like, I've had to change the cat flat battery so they didn't work. <laughs> I felt so guilty. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I just ignored her. I thought she was talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Now, you see, this is the thing, like, I know, like, I, I, I do love all three of my cats, right? But I know Maple the best because he's, like, I am Maple's chosen human. So I know all his distinctive tells 
like for what he wants, whether it's food or whether he's stuck or um, or he wants to fight or he wants to play or whatever. Like he's got a different noise or a different tail movement for all of it. He's really easy for me to read. Um, I have been told no one else can read him, so yeah. But I'm not that close with Ash and Walnut. Um, Walnut doesn't have many tells, but he's lazy and a lot of what he wants is either food or sleep or cuddles. So he, it, it's kind of on rotation with Walnut. But I can never tell when he wants to play until he, he almost bites my finger, you know. So and that's just who Walnut is. And I kind of know Ash's tells even less. Um, she has a squeak when she talks to you. <laughs> But like, I can't differentiate that squeak from when it's, I'm a happy kitty and I'm an unhappy kitty. Um, yeah. Unless she's got the, like, the downward tail movement, but she only does that when she's terrified, not when she's unhappy. So, yeah. I literally just can't. I can't hear the difference in her mouths just yet. Um, but I mean, since my dad passed, she's spending a lot more time with me. So I know I'm going to get there, but it's like, you know, it's like I'm relearning my cats um, because they've completely changed which human they're going to for which thing. It's like, okay, I'm I'm readapting to my own pet. <laughs> but anyway, this is uh, you know this is why I love I love cats I love pets. You know they're just they're just good for you. We keep talking about getting a dog, and I'm just like, on the one hand, I'm like it could be a really good idea, and then on the other hand, I'm like it could be a really bad idea. <laughs> Uh, we literally don't know. Um, I was we were thinking about a collie maybe or um, or a sheepdog, just because the type of land we're on it is it's farmland. It's a lot of farm animals, so we need um we would need a dog that can be trained. Um, obviously they have to get along with cats and children. We have young children that come around all the time. And I just oh, I don't really know too much about dogs. I like large dogs. Um, my mum likes smaller dogs, but I think we could, we could cope or medium out, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, it's something we're thinking about, but it's kind of an on-off, on-off thing. Um, because we're also thinking about chickens and it's just like, well, it's fine to get chickens, but we would need something to ward the foxes off. I don't particularly want to get a cockerel because of the noise <laughs> so, but yeah um any pets we get would have to be like after the the house is finished um on the other hand uh we have we have got i think my mum's got someone calling her back um from sykes holiday in regards to whether we could rent like half this place out when it's finished and what we could expect to make from it and stuff like that so yeah yeah, there's, there's a lot happening in the background. It's just not a lot of stuff I can show you. So, yeah. Oh, and I got this really, like, gaudy yellow cardigan. Um, my mum bought it for me. I'm really not keen on the colour, but... I mean, obviously, like, I wear blue. And yellow and blue, I just don't think go together. But, um... It's a really warm cardigan. <laughs> and this house is cold. So I'm just like, do you know what? I will look like the yellow... Like, the yellow monster. I mean, look at this. When I first saw it, I thought it was a Christmas cardigan. I don't know why. I think it's just something like with the fur lining and stuff. My brain's just like, it's Christmas. It's a Christmas thing. But it's not. Um, yeah. Anyway, at this point, it's basically like, fashion for me has died. I will wear anything that's put in front of me as long as it has like two layers to it. <laughs> or, is, or is even like slightly warmer than this house is. Yeah. Although that's not becoming, uh, that's not as much of an issue at the moment. If we turn the heating off, we do still get the cold breeze. But if we turn the heating on, man, it heats up much faster than it did before. And the oil's going down a lot slower as well. So, Which is ironic, because now we need to use it up before we get the new heating system in. But you, you, you just know how it is, you know how it is. Um, I'm hoping we can sell some of the oil back, but knowing our look, probably not. Um, yeah. I think that's everything. I am pretty sure that is everything. Yeah. It was just like... I was completely unsurprised by the gym floor. But I'm just... It kind of... It brings into question, like... 
if the gym is polystyrene and that corner of the kitchen was polystyrene you know is the on like the walk-in bathroom is that polystyrene is that why the tiles have sunk <laughs> is you know is that why there are cracks on the walls is that I mean I suppose we're going to find out because the underfloor heating is going under all of it so it's all being rebuilt properly which is such a relief like um, hopefully it will stop all the cracking up the walls I mean the gym walls and the ceiling oh god I did not show you that but um, basically because it's been built badly there's like there's a seam literally where the floors lifted um, well it's a ceiling I suppose where the ceiling's lifted away from the walls and the, the walls have lifted away from the ceiling it's just yeah if my uncle didn't reinforce that wall before we put that TV on, the whole thing, bang. Like, you can see where it's tried. It's tried to start coming away. Um, but he, compl he he really did reinforce it back into the concrete. I mean, thank goodness. It's just, yeah, it's, it's so badly done. I just don't understand how people can build things to such a poor standard. Because, like... You want to feel safe in your own home, don't you? Like, you don't want to be looking over your shoulder thinking, is this the day the wall falls on my head while I'm asleep? Like, oh, I just, oh, I just, I don't understand it. Cowboys, I just don't get it. Um, anyway, we're fixing it all. <laughs> it's all going to be done properly. This house is going to be worth more than what we bought it for. So help me life, <laughs> and if it's not, then I'm going to rent out most of this property until it is. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, I need to pull up like my old business management notes and actually get started on a business plan and stuff like that. Uh, but I need to be in like the mood for paperwork. I mean, everyone knows you you need a mood for paperwork, like. And I have not had that for a while. <laughs> I think I need some actual sunshine on my skin before I even think about processing numbers. <laughs> anyway, I promised I'd do it next year. We're, we're looking at next year, um, hopefully, to be ready for that. Um, yeah, it will just coincide with our cruise holiday, <laughs> so we won't be here. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine and good. Anyway, oh, that's everything. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, if it all goes to plan, I will have a lot of footage for you guys next week. <laughs> I love to keep promising this, but it's it's as the project manager is promising us stuff, I am then passing that promise on to you guys. So if it doesn't go through, it is the project manager's fault. Just so you know. But I think regardless, I think the plumbing guy is coming. Because, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to have another crack at the boys room. I keep calling it the Star Wars room. It's my new office, yeah. I'm going to have another crack at that room today. Um, hopefully get it in the same state as my bedroom is in. Um, minus the fact that the floor is obviously missing. Yeah, we need to do something about that. Next week! <laughs>